you know, many times we have a long Word document and we need to insert a nice table that would be better if it was an Excel table. Uh, so here I have an example where I have some data in Excel and I want to embed this in Word, but create the live link. So when I update the data on the left, uh, the data in Word will update. So the first thing we have to do is select the entire range that we plan on pasting. And you'll notice that there's data outside the range and the data inside the range, it relies on this data. You know, this is a, uh, a filter or a VStack with a filter function here. If I would change from east to central, let's say, uh, this is automatically updating. And I'm not embedding this data in the Word document, uh, but it'll all still work, right? It's, it's really kind of amazing. So first thing we have to do is name the range. Select the entire range that you want to have embedded in Word like that. Click here in the name box and we're going to type any name. There can't be any space that doesn't in the name, but you can use an underscore. Uh, so I'll just type any name here. It doesn't really matter. You can call this income underscore statement or balance underscore sheet or just bow sheet or whatever makes sense. Okay, now I need to make sure that that name gets saved. And you also have to make sure that this workbook is saved somewhere that the Word document is going to be able to see it. All right, so we click save here. I'm also just going to notice note that we're going to paste this with the West region active. And that was done after the save. All right, I'm just trying to show an interesting uh, feature here. All right, so at this point now, I don't have the name range selected anymore. I want to make sure to select that name range. So I go to the name box, open the drop down, and select my name. Control C to copy. We're coming over to Word. If we just do a default paste, that's a Control V, there's going to be uh, the wrong selection made for that paste. So we open up this little control and the third item here is called link and keep source formatting. All right? By doing that, we've now set up an amazing link between the Word document and the Excel document. And I, I love the state that we're in right now because anything that happens in Excel is going to immediately happen in Word. This is amazing to me the way that this works. For example, if I would choose the central region, you see that the Word document automatically updates. If I would come over here and bold something and change the color, automatically happens. I, I love this state, but it's very easy to break this state. All right, now remember that we, when we saved this document, it was showing west, and I'm just uh, to test what happens, I'm going to close the Excel file and not save it at this point, right? which is really interesting because this is showing the central region and that green there in the background uh, and it's pointing to a spot on the hard drive and that saved file does not reflect uh, the central region. So over here we'll do file, close. Do I want to save changes? I'm going to say no, don't save. And you see that even though what's saved on the hard drive is west, it continues to show central here. All right, now let's see if what happens when we reopen the Excel file. Uh, I'm going to pause the video here while I open this and get them arranged again. Okay, check this out. What's saved on the hard drive is the East region and that word choose doesn't have the green color, but what is kind of, let's say, cached in the Word document is the central region and the green color. I'm a little uh, disappointed here that I've broken this awesome link between the two. When I change the thing on the left in Excel, it's not changing on the right. Now, one way that I found to fix this is to come here to Word, select everything, so Control A, and then it's very interesting, it's the same key we use in Excel to recalc, uh, the F9 key, and that will set up a link here, but is a, I think it's a one-time link. So if I would come here and now change from East to Central, you see it's not working. It's not the immediate uh, reaction that I had initially. So here's what I found on how to set up that immediate reaction. We're going to keep that Excel file open on the left hand side. Over here in Word I'm going to save and then close. And then in Word reopen. And it says that there's links that may re to refer to files and we say yes. All right, and now it's back to the perfect state. 
uh, where if I change something on the left, it will instantly change on the right. All right, so you know I know when you're building your annual report or your quarterly report or just trying to build some Excel, you may not need this immediate reaction uh, to work. You know, you, you might just you know set it up once and, and not make any changes to Excel. But I love how this does work, and it's important to kind of understand how we can get it back into this immediate uh, changing of the Word document in response to the Excel document. All right, thanks for watching.